Hi Leo, welcome back to the channel. It's me Anissa from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading. So the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? Oh, we'll take that. So in this reading, Leo, it's going to be a you versus them format. We're going to be looking at your energy, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Leo, here's the thing, okay? I feel that this month of December is going to be a really, really good month for you, especially if you're trying to manifest anything that got to do with your finances or anything that got to do with your career. Or let's say, for instance, you want to be manifesting like a new car or your new house or just like a new furniture that you want to have in your house and everything like that. This is a really, really good month for you, okay? But you got to speak it into existence, just so you know. I don't know why I'm getting this really, really strong messages, although this is a love reading, but that was like one of the messages that I got when I was meditating for your reading here. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about this one. What are your challenges here? You have the justice and you also have the ten of swords in upright position. One of your biggest challenges here, Leo, has a lot to do with you coming on top of the painful experiences that you have been in without the need of wanting to see any sort of karma being um, thrown into the person that had caused you most pain it's normal for us to i mean i've heard that a lot of times right i've done thousands of personal readings and I've, I've i've heard a lot of like will that person ever get that karma would that person ever regret what they are doing to me and etc that is something that is holding you back right now as i mentioned earlier you could be manifesting really wonderful thing this month don't hold on to that negative energy okay leo now the second message that i'm getting from this card specifically here leo has a lot to do with you trying to keep it a balance okay although you you went through a very very painful experiences and i know how it feels like but also at the same time, do not allow that painful experience to only make you feel bad about yourself. You see, the thing, the beauty about this card is that the justice, there's two side. You see? Now, because this is in a challenging position, I feel that because of the painful experience that you had gone through, it kind of like made you see yourself not in a very, very good light, which is a weird for a Leo because one, you're a Leo and you're a fire sign. I'm a fire sign myself. I'm a Sagittarius. And sometimes it is, you could tell you hurt a fire sign or you hurt a Leo if they started to think badly about themselves, if they started to lose confidence in themselves and i feel that this is like one of the biggest messages that your higher self wants to give you is that although somebody had hurt you although you have been gone through like a painful experiences maybe you've went through such failures in your life and everything like that that's okay but do not allow that experience to actually make you feel bad about yourself okay again i gotta stress it out this month is very 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 important for you to manifest wonderful things in your life now let's talk about the past from this person's side they have the ace of wands and the empress and i'm taking this two of pentacles because it just popped and from your side you have the emperor and you also have the nine of pentacles i feel that in the past you know you were ready to take charge in your life okay you felt that in the distant past especially in terms of your relationship in terms of your life it has always been controlled by somebody right you were playing in some sort of like a chess game but the control of that game in itself was never in your hand and i feel that in the past you felt the need to take control of that and i feel that in the past you were focusing a lot more on you you're focusing on how to actually discipline yourself so that you could achieve this success that you've always been wanting um be careful of anything that is excessive that's what i'm trying to say too 
Now, from this person inside here, Leo, uh, this person does find you physically very attractive, and they also see you as somebody who's like, you know, Leo's energy is beautiful for me because anything that I gave them, they multiply it by a hundred. Like I could just give Leo groceries and then Leo could then turns it into food. I could just buy Leo a house and they will turn it into a home. So there is this admiring, there is this acknowledgement that they have that Leo actually, I just got to give Leo a little bit and then Leo could multiply it by a hundred. I the negative aspect of it could also be about I could just give Leo a little bit of love and then Leo could multiply it by a hundred and give me tons of validation as well. Okay, that's the negative aspect of this combination as well. But okay, let's just be positive here. <laughs> okay, but at the same time, I feel that they're still um, juggling with like doubts on, you know, do I want this or do I not want this? Do I truly want to be investing completely in my relationship with Leo or not? Do I really want to be fighting for this energy or not? We're going to clarify in a moment because I do see like a lot of hesitancies coming from their part and we're going to clarify what that is, okay? Now, from your side here, as I mentioned earlier, you got, you have like a beautiful energy that surrounds you in terms of manifesting successes in terms of finances. Um, and you're very much focused on that, your energy. From their side, eight of wands and also the four of pentacles, this person often got this rushes of feelings. Yeah. Rushes of want to do something. But then they're like, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to do that. I feel that Leo, in the present moment and also in the past, you're dealing with somebody who just wants to live in the moment. So right now I enjoy what I am having with you, but I really do not want to think about, you know, anything other than the present moment. I do not want to strategize. I do not want to plan. I do not want to think about anything that got to do with the future, nor would I want to be making some sort of amendment in my life in order to suit you. Okay. Now in the future, Leo, Ace of Swords, and also this Nine of Wands. From their side, they have the Seven of Wands, and they also have the King of Pentacles in that preposition. I feel that there's something here about clashes of clashes of what an ideal relationship between the both of you looks like. And again, it's normal because again, my idea with of commitment could be very, very different than yours. My idea of relationship could be very different than yours. What is ideal for me may not be ideal for you. And I feel that this is also one of the biggest problems when it comes to this connection is that about that. Because I feel that you have an idea, okay? This is how I would like to approach this relationship. This is how I would like to this relationship to go because this is the ideal way for me. And that's just basically how I wanted it to be. A lot of resistance coming from their side when it comes to that okay however they're actually trying to show you also in the future that you know let me do some things that are practical that some things that are practical and I'm gonna show you that I'm there but you're also a bit wary about it we're gonna clarify yeah so I'm guessing like this is more of like a different idea of commitment and relationship and different love languages as well because what's important for you is not important for them and what is important for them is not important for you let's clarify your reading now leo Now, if you're single and ready to mingle, Leo, let's see.
not really the good time for you to be focusing on love if you're single and ready to mingle because i feel like there needs to be a healing that takes place first before you go on allowing people or start to have feelings for somebody else but anyway in the sagittarius season specifically leo this person truly wants to be giving you something yeah but you, you want to know what is weird about this um energy between you and them what spirit is that i just don't get it though because they want to plan things with you okay but pentacle stuff is because i feel that what is going to make you happy is changes on behavioral level and also changes on some things that is going to be making you feel emotionally safe and secure correct now, the changes that they would want to do has a lot to do with, I'm going to plan things for you. Okay, so if you haven't been living together, they might be trying to plan to move, um, to live together with you and start, you know, this is how I'm going to pay the bill. This is how I, I see you and I work on this relationship. Let's say like something that is just practical, yeah? But from your side, like, yeah, that would be lovely, to strategically plan for the practical aspect of the relationship but what i want from you is deeper than that you want again behavioral change and you want you know something about them to make you feel emotionally safe and secure however though it's intentionally it's very intentional and deliberate the fact that they're not giving you what you want Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. In a way that one of the reason why they do not want to change or they do not want to give you exactly what it is that you want has a lot to do with them f feeling as if like if I were to be given Leo what they wanted, it could be one, I'm going to be losing the power and control over the relationship. Or two, in Indonesia we call it like dikasi hati minta jantung, meaning that if I give you my liver, you would ask for my heart. So if I give Leo just one bit and I agree to what Leo wants in one bit, there's going to be a higher chance or higher tendency that Leo would, would, would want to ask for more and I'm trying to stop it from happening. I don't want that to happen, okay? So there's that lot of thought process coming from them. So the changes is basically on a practical level, but on the behavioral level where you want them to change, they intentionally and deliberately not wanting to give you because of those reasons. And you're trying to fight for it because again, for me, I see this more of a boundary thing for you. Like this is how I establish my boundaries and this is the must is these are my limits. But they just don't get it, you know. They don't get how important it is for you. Now, Leo, um, this month, specifically, if you start, you know, expanding your social network, if you start, you know, hanging out with like a lot of friends and a lot of support system, that's where I see you getting a chance to fully um, progress in terms of your finances here. There's going to be like a lot of opportunities coming here.
So in the future, Leo, does this person still wants to have a relationship with you? Yeah. Because again, they like the energy of how it was in the past, right? There was, there is like a lot of sweet memories that they're holding on to in the present moment and also in the future. So, so they would want that. But that's the thing, see. For them, what's the, what, what, what's important is sort of the practical things. So, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, or fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, they're just going to give you, you know, practical things. Yeah? But changes, however, it's just something that is difficult for them to give you because one for all of those reasons that i mentioned earlier and second of all they're under the impression that if i were to be creating an environment where i am going to be like it seems as if like i'm detached and i'm not really prioritizing this relationship it is going to put leo in a position of this okay where they feel mentally entrapped where they're starting to have trust issues where they're starting to go crazy and overthink about this whole relationship because from their mindset in the past when they put you in this position what you did was you offer them love Is it true? Because I can tell it's true. When this person put you in this position, instead of breaking free from this Eight of Swords, what you ended up doing is this. And I don't blame you, Leo, because psychologically it makes sense. And th those are the dark psychology tactics that some people used to employ to other people in order to raise their market value in front of your eyes but that is the mindset that they still hold dear also in the future if i make it seem as if like i'm not prioritizing this relationship if i make it seem as if like i am nonchalant about this and i'm putting leo in a neutral position not in a position where i'm worshiping leo very very much that's usually is the moment where leo is actually going to be offering me like tons of love and i'm just going to do that in the future now would you do that leo it depends it depends are you aware of this patterns that you have because if you're not i do see you repeating the same pattern to be honest with you but why because you fear the tower that's the you know the beautiful thing about fixed sign is that you have a very very good staying power okay it's slow it took you long to enter into something but once you entered it like you're it's difficult for you to leave that and i see this pattern here okay let's put some advice here for you here leo okay king of wands the moon card and also the four of pentacles keep in mind that this is the traditional uh, sorry this is the after tarot deck so it's going to be very different than the traditional right away tarot i feel that at this present moment you gotta be at the energy where you were in the past in the past you were beautiful remember when i said that you were starting to acknowledge that you're playing <clears throat> in a game where you have no control over it but in the past, you decided to take that. I'm going to take full control over this whole situation. I'm going to take a full control of my life. And I'm just going to be focusing on myself. And right now is the right time for you to do just that. 
You gotta remember who you are, Leo. You gotta remember the fact that you are the king of the jungle. Okay. Now, instead of taking control of the game or taking control for this relationship, what this advice here has a lot, uh, is given you is take control of your own subconscious pattern. There's some things here that you would need to revisit. There are some memories, there is some acknowledgement, there is some acceptance and inner talk that you need to be doing with yourself. And this could only be achieved if you are really, really open to explore, to reflect, and to really be honest about yourself. It's hard, you know, to admit that, wow, like, I actually self-sabotaged. Wow. If this person is indeed a villain, I did enable that. Why did I enable it? What did, what does it tell me about myself? That honest conversation needs to be had here. Why? It's so that you're able to let go of the things that has been holding you back for quite some time. You're holding, you're holding on to trauma. You're holding on to emotional wounds you're holding on to patterns four is something that is stable you have the death card right here you have the death right it comes to break the stability of the four so that it could completely free you from the subconscious blockages that you've always been in from the self-defeating thoughts from the self-limiting belief that this is what you deserve etc okay leo ha, so i think that as if i'm writing for you here hun i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for and i'll look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you